Okay, now season 10. This is gonna be quite a long one. Um, this one has, uh, this first episode is, uh, Brennan's Moonwalk. This one's a weird episode. Um, this one has an opening scene where Tinky Winky, uh, comes into the house, uh, with his bag. It's kind of like those, uh, scenes where, like, each of the Teletubbies would show up in front of the trees with or without their favorite things. I wonder if there were any other segments like this that they filmed but never used, like, Maybe there could be a segment with Lala taking her ball into the house or something. Uh, there's actually a similar scene where all the Teletubbies show up without their favorite things. Uh, so yeah. It has a zoomed out window, windmill clip, and they go watch the TV event. Lala's, like, uh, tummy lights up, like, a few seconds, like, early, actually. Like, like, wait, I don't know what to say about it, but yeah, Lala is chosen for a TV event. This kid, uh, Brennan, who, uh, is actually American because he talks in an American accent, uh, I think it was actually, like, a, ex a foreign exchange student when they filmed this episode. Uh, from what I've heard on his YouTube channel, he actually uploaded the TV event, and yeah. Yeah, he's, like, pretending to, like, be in outer space, uh, and, like, he has, like, this cool, like, a space helmet, which is kind of like a construction helmet with, like, a tin foil around it. It's pretty cool. And then, like, the scene where the Teletubbies uh, go into the house one by one to fetch their favorite things, and they barely have enough time to play them with them because the windmill starts spinning, and they say, uh, uh, run off, and then the windmill stops spinning. In the Sunday special version, before it stops spinning, they go watch the dancing bear dancing once. And the voice trumpet's rising is delayed. Um, this is actually the first appearance of the mid-slash-late 1999 Teletubbies costumes. I'm not really sure when this episode was made, but yeah, it was probably somewhere around that time. I honestly don't really notice the differences between this and the previous ones. But yeah, Dipsy's the missing Teletubby and Tinky Winky's the boo shouter. Now crawling. Oh god, this opening scene. So this opening scene has the same opening scene from Painting with Hands and Feet, as well as various other episodes where they're dancing in conga line. Yeah, so this is like, I think like the fifth episode where that happens. And this is actually the last appearance of that. It has these normal windmill uh, clip when they see the windmill spinning. And strangely, unlike in those episodes, uh, when they see the windmill spinning, there's two different whooshing sounds that are heard at the same time. One of them's the same whooshing sound that was heard in Painting with Hands and Feet, actually. So yeah, apparently. So yeah, and they go watch the TV event, and uh, Poe is chosen for a TV event. It has a bunch of kids at like some daycare crawling, which yeah, I think it kind of looks like kind of looks like a daycare I used to go to when I was like a baby. I don't know. Um, in this uh, TV event, I actually heard the piccolo sound effect uh, that was used on Barney. I swear I heard that. Uh, but yeah. And then, like, uh, the next scene, uh, has the Teletubbies crawling all over Teletubby land. I'm not kidding. Like, Tinky Winky crawls along the path, Dipsy crawls over the hills, Lala crawls between the trees, it's the same trees the Teletubbies marched around in some of those, uh, older episodes, and Poe crawls around the flowers, and they crawl all the way home and go to sleep, but they don't have enough time to sleep. They see zoomed out a uh, window windmill clip, which has the whooshing sound at first, but then the magical Ventune plays. And then they go watch a magical vent. For some odd reason, in this episode, the magical Ventune is slow. It's slowed down. I don't know why that happens sometimes, but it does, so deal with it. <laughs> but yeah, they go watch the magic tree. Yeah, I mean, Lala was crawling uh, between the trees the earlier, but yeah. And then the windmill stops spinning, and the voice trap is slightly delayed. Uh, but yeah. Lala is the missing Teletubby, and Tinky Winky's the boo shouter. Now, Shrimps in the Sand. Uh, this one's a weird episode. I actually thought for a while this episode was fake, because this episode has not been uploaded on YouTube for a while, until like a few years ago, when it finally did get uploaded. But yeah, this one has a generic opening scene where the Teletubbies are hiding behind the hills. 
There's like several different versions of the scene in various episodes, but yeah. <laughs> As is right path two opening shot without the windmill on screen. Dipsy's chosen for a TV event, and like these kids are looking for some shrimps in the sand, like the title says. And then as a scene, it's very similar to like the scene from Cuddles Gets Lost where everyone's looking for Lala. This time everyone's looking for Poe, apparently. And they just can't find her. In the Sunday special version, after the baby son giggles at the end of the segment, they go watch the three ships. Which I might remember. Tinky Winky's the missing Teletubby. And uh, uh, Lala's the boo shouter. And speaking of cuddles, this one, this next episode is kind of like a sequel called Cuddles Poor Paw. The opening scene is very similar to the opening scene from Frogs, where Poe is playing on the control panels. Uh, but this time she's like crawling under the arch where the Nunu goes under most of the time. And it has the right path to opening shot without the windmill on screen. And she sees the zoomed out window windmill clip and she goes up the slide and watches a TV event. Dipsy's chosen for a TV event. Once again, Brian Kant is like telling another story about how Cuddles uh, had his paw torn, apparently. Once again, much like before, the TV event plays once and basically when you think it's about to play a second time, they like uh, go over and review some of the parts of the story and they read it again. So yeah. And then after that is a scene where, like, someone apparently has made a mess in the house. Someone spilled their tubby toast and tubby custard, and they're wondering who did it. Apparently it was Poe. The opening music that plays at the beginning of the segment plays a few seconds earlier than usual. Yeah, that still happens. As a zoomed out window windmill clip, and the magical vent tune in this episode is very mixed up. So, yeah. And then it has the magic house, uh... The bottom left window version. So yeah. I remember when I saw this scene in like Czech. I think that's what you call it. On YouTube a long time ago. I just really wanted to see like what happened after the segment. I wanted to see what magical event they did. <laughs> but yeah. And then like after the bottom left window version of the magic house. I forget if I mentioned that. Uh, the windmill stopped spinning. The sound comes about a second too late later than usual so yeah and yeah tinky winky's the missing teletubby and lala's the boo shouter that actually happens quite a lot in this season where tinky winky's the missing teletubby or boo shouter and then lala's the missing teletubby or boo shouter that happens a lot in this season in fact it happens a lot with dipsy and poe as well i swear dipsy and poe are almost always either the missing teletubby or boo shouter in all of these episodes <laughs> Like, they're always both, like, something in these episodes. And speaking of, that happens in this next episode, Hand Shapes Turkey. So when it has an opening scene where Tinky Winky spills his tubby custard and Nunu has to tidy it up, he sees a zoomed out window windmill clip, and they go watch a TV event Lala's chosen for. It was filmed in America, apparently. This girl uh, was, like, uh, doing, like, she's making, like, hand shapes, like, She's, like, tracing out her hand to make, like, a shape of a turkey. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of us used to do that uh, in, like, uh, preschool or elementary school. So, yeah. And then uh, uh, a scene where, like, this is a, like, weird scene with the right path to opening shot with the windmill on screen where Poe and Lala listen to a voice trumpet uh, uh, saying this weird thing. Wobble, gobble, 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 something like that. It's absolutely a weird scene. <laughs> a lot of my friends like it, though, but yeah. The windmill whooshing sound is heard at first, but then it plays the magical vent tune once again. That happens a lot in these later episodes. And they go watch the animal parade, this time without the elephant's trumpet. And then they do the shortened version of the stamping and stepping dance. Apparently, this is the last uh, UK episode with this uh, dance apparently. So, that's kind of sad. And I should mention, a lot of these later episodes, like, at the end of, like, a segment or dance or magical event, it'll show the clip of the baby son giggling that's usually shown after a TV event. I'm not kidding. That happens quite a lot in these later episodes. It's pretty weird. 
Dipsy's the missing Teletubby and Poe is the Boo Shouter. That happens quite a lot, and a lot of other times Poe is the missing Teletubby and Dipsy's the Boo Shouter. And then, like, episodes where neither one of them are that, it's either Dipsy and or Lala that is that. Now, next up is Clay, of course. Um, this one has, the opening scene has the rare Field 9 opening shot. And, like, Dipsy is, like, dancing with his hat, and then suddenly, like, teleports onto Poe's head. And this is actually going to be kind of important later on. Uh, when Poe wears the hat, because, like, the hat's too big for her. But then, like, they watch a TV event, Tinky Winky's chosen for a TV event, and these kids are playing with Play-Doh or something. But yeah, it's like clay. I'm pretty sure a lot of us like playing with that. And, like, the next scene, they accidentally show a field shot, even though this uh, segment takes place indoors. Uh, this actually happens a few times in this season. Uh, but yeah. Like... Like, Dipsy's talking about how he has eyes, mouth, ears, and nose. You know, like, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. <gasps> yeah, that. Mm. This one has the right path to opening shot without the windmill spinning. And, like, Poe is, like, wearing Dipsy's hat. Uh, but, like, it's too big for her, so we can't see her face. So, yeah. But then something weird happens. Like, at the end, the windmill starts spinning normally with the whooshing sound and the zoomed-out window clip, but after a few seconds, it plays a stop-spinning sound, and they say, uh-uh, run off, and then the episode just ends. Like, it doesn't show the windmill stopping, even though the sound is heard. That's pretty weird. In the Sunday special version, however, uh, instead they go watch a magical event. I'm not sure what magical event it was. I heard it could be the three ships. But I have a feeling it could be, like, Lobo Peep, maybe. Because that uses claymation. Which is, like, animation using clay. <laughs> or maybe the lion and bear. I feel like if it's the lion and bear, it would end with the baby son giggling after the Teletubbies run off and say, all gone. Kind of like in Longhorns. Uh, Dipsy's the missing Teletubby and Poe's the boo shouter. So, yeah. Carousel. This one's a pretty weird episode. Um, this has Tinky Winky... And Poe giving each other a big hug. Um, uh, near the end of this segment, uh, they actually show the clip of the baby son screaming that's usually shown at the like uh, during Tubby Bye Bye. Uh, this actually happens a few times. I'm not sure if I mentioned uh, any other episodes that had it, but yeah. And Poe's chosen for a TV event. These kids are riding on a carousel, which is kind of like a merry-go-round. And then the televisors are dancing around the control panels. And this is a zoomed-out window windmill clip. And, like, yeah, it only plays, like, uh, the whooshing sound, but then they run off, and then the second part of the magical event tune plays, and they go watch the dancing bear dancing once. And in this episode, the windmill does not stop spinning. Instead, it shows the baby son giggling. That's pretty weird. Lala's the missing Teletum, and Tinky Winky's the boo shouter. Next up is Ladybirds, or Ladybirds Beetles, or Ladybugs, since that's what we usually call them. It has that scene where, like, they're hiding behind the hills, but it's different. It's kind of. It's shortened, actually. Uh, like, they cut out a few parts. It has the Field 2 opening shot with the shortened opening music. It has the Field shot from Brennan's Moonwalk from that scene where they're fetching their favorite things. And then the TV event. Tinky Winky's chosen for a TV event. This girl and Andy Brown are looking at some ladybugs. Which, yeah, Bugs. And, like, the scene where the Teletubbies are on top of different things. Like, Tiki Wee is, like, on top of the path, I think. And, like, Lala's on top of the stairs to the control panel. I forget where Dipsy stands on top of. I think it's on top of Hill. And Poe stands on top of the house. And everyone's shocked. Like, oh, why didn't I think of that? Why did I never do that? Oh, wait, I did. Yeah, they always go on top of the house, don't they? They do it at the beginning of every episode. During the theme song. And then they do the extended version of the stretching dance. This is the only time where the dance starts right away without any opening shots. And then the window stops spinning before the Teletubbies even say, uh-oh. That's pretty weird. And in the Sunday special version, instead, they go watch the crawling TV event. So, there's that. And then the voice trumpet's rising is delayed. And Poe's the missing Teletubby and Dipsy's the boo shouter. 
So that's it for this part. The next part will be up, I don't know.